Parshas B'Shalach continues where Parshas Bo left off with the Jews leaving Mitzrayim. In the beginning of the Parsha, the Pasuk tells us, Vayikach Moshe as Atzmos Yosef Imo, that Moshe took upon himself to take the bones of Yosef out of Mitzrayim. Why is that so significant? So first of all, Yosef made the Jews promise that when they were going to be redeemed from Mitzrayim, they would take his bones out and bring them to Eretz Yisrael. And perhaps even more importantly, which Moshe may or may not know at this point in Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim, but when the Jews are going to get to Yamsuf and they're going to be surrounded and they're going to be stuck, it's going to be the schus of those bones of Yosef, the Atzmus Yosef, that the sea is going to split. The Pesach tells us that we say in Hallel, in the paragraph, that says Yisrael in Mitzrayim, when the Jews are leaving Mitzrayim, the Pesach says, Hayam Ra'avayanos, the Yam, the sea, saw and fled or split. And that's the exact same term that we have in Parshas Vayeshev. When Yosef is attacked by Ashes Potiphar, the Pesach says, Vayanos Vayetze Achutza. And the Medrash says in the Schluss that Yosef stood strong with the temptation of the wife of Potiphar, in that Schluss the Yam split. Rav Chaim Shmulevitz asks a question. There's another Medrash that goes through every part of Yosef's body that did not sin with the wife of Potiphar and tells us what reward he received for each of his body parts not sinning with Ashes Potiphar. If that's the case, so why is it that when it comes to Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim, he's, he's okay to another miracle and a huge miracle and something that's far greater than all the other rewards put together it was his, his schus that saved the entire Jewish people and brought about the tremendous miracle of Kriyas Yamsu. So Chaim Shulevitz explains, that what Yosef did in running away from H.S. Potiphar is to run away from a Nisoyom, to run away from the test. That means that Hashem tests us, the tests come, but we are not supposed to bring ourselves onto those tests. We don't bring tests upon ourselves. The tests come on their own. And the Ramban explains why did Yosef leave his, his beged with H.S. Potiphar that ended up, ended him up in trouble, ended him up in jail. Why didn't he just, as a 17-year-old boy, strong boy, rip the beggar away from Asia's Potiphar? Says Ramban, he didn't want to spend an extra second in the house with Asia's Potiphar and be subjected to the tremendous Nisayim. Says Rukhayim Shulab, it's our job is to do our best to stay away from the Nisayonos. There's a Gemara in Baba Basra, a Daf Zion, that speaks very strongly about one who puts himself into the test, even if he passes the test. The Gemara still speaks very strongly as we are not supposed to put ourselves into an Isayim. The Gemara in Sanhedrin, Daf Kuf Zayin, Amit Aleph, very kedai to look up for homework. The Gemara over there says a person should never bring upon himself a test. David HaMelech, the great David HaMelech, asked to be tested and when the test finally came, he stumbled. We daven every morning in Bechas HaShachar, Lo Lidei Nisoyim. We ask Hashem not to bring us Nisyonos. And Ruchaim Shulevitz explains, when the Nisyonos come on the Roman, Hashem sends the Nisyonos, He sends a special Siyat of the to be able to be strong and withstand the test. But when a person brings a test upon himself, so Hashem says, okay, you brought the test upon yourself, now let's see you manage with your own strength without, without my help. And of course, we need Hashem to be, to be omitted with those Nisyonos. And the Nisyonos come fast and furious. So it's our job to do our best to keep away those Nisyonos. And just two practical examples when we're, as we look for our, our next stage in life, whether it's school, whether it's work, we have to try to find a, an environment that is most conducive for our spiritual growth, which will present the least amount of Nisyonos and challenges to our religiosity. And certainly when it comes to our computers and our phones, to make sure to have a filter that is stronger than we are, so that we don't bring any Nisyonos upon ourselves. And that way, when the Nisyonos do come, Hashem will send the special Siyat of Deshmaya and will help us to be only Nisyon, so that we can be strong, stand strong in the Nisyon, use it as a growing experience, and continue making Hashem proud.
Thank you for listening to the Gargirai's daily Chizuk broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.